Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how we can upload images using two popular frameworks, Django on a backend and Angular on a frontend. So first we'll start with our backend. So backend will be based on the Django with a RESTful API. So it will serve as an API and then we'll use our frontend to uh, select the image and upload it to our backend and backend will take care of the image, save it in the server and it will be available for current model. So uh, what I have here is I have a simple Django application. So nothing complicated here. If you are not really sure how to set up an application like this, if you go to Django test framework tutorials slash kickstart or just go to uh, the main page here and then tutorial quick start you will see a set of instructions how to set up a simple application. I also have a few uh, videos on my YouTube channel so if you are not sure how to do that you can watch them as well. If you are interested in Angular and Django I have a course on Udemy that is 20 hours long and it's uh, available so if you are interested I I can leave you a link in the comments here. Okay, let's go back to our application. So what we have here, at the moment I have a simple single model book. I have only one field title and this is a, a car field. So this will hold the title for me. Uh, I have one serializer for the same model. So we have only title here and also I have a view which is a view set so we have query set and the serializer that we uh, just created here. Also in the in the admin I register my book so we can go to admin page and we have a books at the moment there is nothing in our database so we will start from scratch. In the URLs I included a router that I register my books and that will be included here. So I can actually use slash books to access all the URLs for that book. So I can use that URL to upload my books. So uh, that's what I have. If we go to the settings, I also use the REST framework. So if you want to start the same as I have here, you will also you will need to install Django and Django REST framework. Also, I register my application. My application is API here. This is my project and this is my application. So we'll do everything in, uh, from here. Okay, so what we need to do, basically we would like to store a cover for that book. So we will create another field here and this field will be an image field. So let's do that. Cover, models, and then image field. And then we can provide a few arguments here. First, we can do blank true. So that means we can actually, this not it's not gonna be required, so we can leave it blank. Then we can do null, so true. Also, if it's provided blank, then we'll store it as null. Next argument, we'll do upload to. And this is interesting part here. So what we can do is we can provide a simple path here where to upload it. But I will show you a more elegant way how to do it with a function. So what we can do is we can create our own function. So upload, uh, let's say path. We can name it whatever we like. And then it will, it will accept two things. Instance. And file name. So what we have here is we can actually return. So we can build our path here and we'll start from slash. That means it will be a default media path here. And then we can join. And in join, we can provide an array of things that we will have as a join for our folder structure. Basically, we are telling Django where to upload it and it's up to us how we're gonna store it in our uh, server. So in what folders and how we're gonna name them. And basically we can use those two, uh, actually file name like this, I misspell it. We can use uh, those two to actually use it and leverage the data that is uh, available on that, on instance and uh, file name to actually put it in the folder. So what we can do is I will show you three things, but it's up to you. How would you like to start? Basically you are bu building kind of folder structure here. So first I will say covers and you will see that folder structure when we actually uh, see the first image uh, in. So what I'm saying here 
If we'll upload our image, we would like to use the base media part that we'll set up in a second. And then we should use a folder covers. Inside that covers, we can do instance, let's say title. So instance title, we can actually force it to be string. So instance title, that will be another folders, uh, folder inside the cover. So if we upload book with some title, that will go here. So if you have more images for one book, for example, you might have a cover, back cover and uh, stuff like that, you can actually put it all images inside covers, inside that book name. And that, uh, that's what we are gonna do. So we'll uh, do that. And the last uh, thing we can use is file name actually you can and that's supposed to be name like that so basically it's up to you how you would like to have it so i will take upload path here and we'll come back to this later once we'll see a working example so we we can provide that function here and that cover will use that function to put it in the in the specific folders. Okay, we have that done and there's not much, much complicated here. It's just a s simple field that is available on Django. What we need to do in the settings, we need to also add a media. So media root, all capital, OS, pad, join, and then we do base there and then we can provide media or you can name it whatever you like and then media url and it will be media I like that uh, that's supposed to be media url so we need to provide two things here first media root so what is the root folder of our media and then media url so you can name it this as you like i name it media so it is uh, easier to remember and basically it will just create a new folder media here so this will be our root folder for our media so if we go here that's what we are referring there so it will be everything uploaded to our server it will be media slash cover slash name of the book slash file name and the file name will be the name actually of the file that we uploaded so i will show you how uh, how it works in a second uh, i have joined missing one required positional i i think it's it's fine now we don't have that anymore so what we can do is i can do python tree managed by run server and the server is running here okay so we have that available now what we also need to do is we need to put that in the serializer so we add an extra field to serializer cover and then we'll need to do something in views Okay, so in the views, we'll need to create a new method. So basically we have a view set here and the basic methods are already included in the model view set. So post, put, delete and get, all of uh, them are included. But what we'll do is we'll actually override one for creating a book and we'll like to kind of hijack it and create our own. So we'll override post and then solve request and then we'll have arcs and also quarks so basically what we are doing here is we overwriting the built-in method that is built in django we'll create a variable cover here so it will be request data and then we will provide cover also, we'll have title and title. So this is what we are expecting from the front end that it will send. So next thing, what we will do is we'll do book objects, create, and we'll create our book. So title, it's gonna be our title that we've created just variable and then cover 
will be cover from here. So at the end, what we can do is like actually we can return something. So we can do HTTP response. And we need to actually import it first. So I will do from Django HTTP import HTTP response. So that HTTP response can return two things first, which will be our object. Let's say we can provide our message, and that message will be book created. So another argument I can do status 200, which is everything is okay. Of course, you will need to do some validation here, check it if you have that in the request data and so on, and do try uh, accept if you have uh, if you created that model or not. But I will try to simplify everything to a bare minimum. So basically, we are not to do error handling here. Anyway, we created the, the book. And then we have a HTTP response for, for that. Uh, so book created. And we hope that uh, both title and cover will be safe in one go. Okay, so we have that uh, already available in the uh, Django. So everything is uh, kind of ready for us to jump into the uh, front end uh, framework. Okay, let's take a look what we have in our front-end application. So what I have here is I have a simple project created with ng-new. So basically what I have is I have a in the source, uh, I have application, I have only one component. So if I'll open that component here and also component here, basically the only thing I've changed is I replaced the default template with my own text here. So I have h3 tag here, and if you open our local host, you can see upload images with Angular is displayed here. So, so far we have nothing here. What we would like to have is basically some kind of form that will accept the user image, and then we can send it to our um, backend. So what we need to do first, uh, here in, in, the com in my component, I will use it HTML and also TS. So we don't need that anymore. That's built in when we create ng new and we'll start from scratch here. So first we'll need to have two things. I will store a title and that's gonna be a string. And also what we'll do is we will have cover and that's gonna be a file. So both of those variables will be available for me. So first maybe uh, let's go to the HTML and create uh, some kind of form for us. You can use a proper form, but I will show you how we can actually do it without a, a form here. So title, I'll try to make everything as simple as possible. So input, it will be type of text. Then we'll do change. And then we can do on title changed. And we'll provide an event here. So basically what we will have is we'll have an uh, input of type text and we'll have on title changed and we'll need to also register that here. So we'll have on title change that will accept event. Uh, let's say it's any. So TypeScript won't complain about this. And then we can set uh, whatever is on the event. So this title is equal to event and then target that value. So whatever is actually on that input, it will be assigned to my variable here. Okay, so we have that and that's very easy to do. And then what we need to do here is to have something similar for our cover. So we'll create a cover which is which is going to be our image so it will be type of file. Of course you can validate it here for accepting only images but our point is to make it very simple. So on title change I will have on image changed 
and I will create a new method here. So we have one method already here. So what I can do is I can duplicate it and I will have another one. So it also accept event. This time we are not gonna set title, but we'll set a cover. And then even target, not value here, but we'll go files and the first one, which is index zero. So we will get our file from the event here because the files will be attached. It is possible to have more than one, but we are making everything very simple. So we'll just select the first one that I was, that is available on that event, whatever user picked that file. Okay, next thing what we need to do is we need to also have a button. So we will have a button that will submit and then uh, let's say this button will be new book. So we create a new book and then we can do click. So whatever we click on that button, we can say new book. We'll trigger new book method here. We need to come back to our component and create that method. So new book, and then we'll create something here. So first thing what we need to do is we'll need to enable HTTP. So basically uh, HTTP is built in Angular, but we need to explicitly say, say to Angular that we would like to use it. So how are we gonna do that? First, we need to go to app module. So uh, if your component is in the model, you need to have HTTP client, uh, client here. So what we will do is we'll import http client module from at angular common http so we have our HP client model and we need to enable that, uh, it, to put it in the imports here. The same way as we have browser, we'll put HP client model. Once we have that, we could use it in our component. So we'll do similar thing in our component. So we can go here and import this, but this time we are not gonna do model, but simple client. So we'll have a client and then we'll need to put it in a constructor. So I will have a constructor here and then we can create a private variable and we can name it HTTP and that's gonna be our HTTP client that we just imported here. Okay, so once we have that, basically we have an access to HTTP. So I'll make it like this. So here, what we can do is I, uh, we can use this HTTP to create our post method here. So we need to do a few things f uh, here. So first things what we need to do is we need to provide a URL. Basically the URL for application is whatever we have here. Uh, so this is whatever we have our local server. So I will copy that and then we can paste it here and then we will send it to books. What This is what we would like to do. We override the, the post book method. So basically sending any data post to this URL, it will create a book. So we need to attach some data into that uh, post. So the easiest way will be to use form data. So we can create a constant can do upload data and then we can do a new form data. So we have upload data here and then we can append to some, uh, some data. So first what we do is we append title. That's gonna be our title. This is what is required actually in our backend here. So request data title, that's what we are expecting to have. And we need to have the same title here. So what's gonna be our title? We can use whatever is here because we on title change from our form, we use this title and we update it. So it will be available on this variable. So we have title. What we can also do is we can have a cover 
cover and then it's gonna be our cover but here we can also do this cover name so basically we will attach also a name of this file into that post so we will use post on that URL and we as a second argument we can actually added that upload data. So this will be included in our post. What we can do here is we can subscribe to the result and subscribe in subscribe. What we can do is whatever we have our data, then we can use arrow function and let's say console log data. And we can also do something similar with error. So error, and then console log error. Well, it's up to you what you're gonna do after you will have that post done. So basically this is a function that will be triggered when it's a success, so 200, and this is when it's something uh, goes bad. So in here you can re redirect to some uh, place or you can display something on the page. It's really up to you. We try to do uh, everything very simple here. So uh, just console log the data here. So our goal is collect the data from here and pass it to our backend. Okay, so let's go to our frontend here and we have our fields here. So we have a title, then we have a co cover, we have a choose file here and no file chosen. So I can make it a little bit bigger, bigger here. So this is what we have. Very simple, nothing complicated here. So basically whatever we type in uh, here uh, some title, so I can do a title here, we will store the ti title in the, our uh, variable. So let's choose a file here and I have a Lords of the Ring uh, image cover for, for the book. And I pick that uh, file and the name of the JPEG is actually here. So that means I have that file selected, but it's not sent yet. So I can name this as a lot, which is lo Lords of the Ring and this is the cover. Whenever I click on the book, so we can go actually to our network here and I will show you, uh, I will remove everything from here. And then whatever I click here will send a request and it's not gonna work. I will show you uh, that in a second. So I'm sending this and if you could go here, you have response and actually nothing is here. So this is not found. So what is happening here? If you go to the console here, you have a hint here. So it is blocked by course policy. What we need to do is we need to enable uh, Django course headers in our backend. So I will go here and then I will uh, stop the server and then I will do whatever it says here. So what we need to do is we need to install Django cor course headers. That's a plugin. So we can go GitHub Django course headers or just Google Django course headers and it will be like that. So first things what we need to do is we need to install it. So I will just pip install Django course headers. Make sure you have virtual environment activated and then I can run server again. And then we need to do a few more things. So first we need to do add that to installed apps. So we'll go here in the settings. I will scroll to installed apps and I will add course headers here. So this is added. Next thing we'll need to do course middleware in the middlewares. It needs to be above the common middleware. So we go here we find the middleware, we have a common here, so above I can have it here. Okay, that's added, and then we need to whitelist it. So that means I can do course origin allow all true, or I can whitelist it like this. So I will whitelist our Angular application, I can put it anywhere I like, and basically what we need to do is we need to tell which URLs we trust. So. In our case, we have it on localhost 4000. That's the port that our Angular is running. So we have localhost 4200 here. And that's what I actually put it here. So if I will put it like this, the server is running, and then come back to my, my library. And let's uh, clear this again and create once more. I have the same data here, so new book. And you can see here, I don't have that error anymore. And if we go to the networks, 
we can go here not found but at least we have something here so page not found because this is book actually it has to be books so I will come here and you can see in the URLs what we do is we have books URL so I made a mistake I will uh, come back here and here I need to do books so save it again in the front end this has been refreshed so clear it and then Lords of the Ring select image open and then new book and it's still finally failing so uh, this is telling us that we haven't done actually our migrations because the cover is not in the database yet so that's what I forgot to, to do so I will kill the server here and what I can do is I can do make my migrations this is what you all, always need to do whatever you change something on our models and then you do migrate all done so I can run my server again and let's try it again so I will clean it here new book and this has been actually 200 so we have cover and this is URL for our cover and we have title so what we can do is I can go here that's our uh, Django admin and I will refresh it so we have our book created and you can see here this is actually the, the file that I send it. So covers load and uh, it is here and the title is the one that I submitted here. So basically what we've done is we've created a fully functional upload image workflow. Okay, but there's a few things that uh, are still needs to be done. So if we go here, you can see media. Uh, actually, I have Modia. I think I've mistake. I've done a mistake here, so this is the the Modia. It's supposed to be media here, but I have a folder Modia here. And then inside we have covers, and if we go here back to the views, uh, sorry, back to the models, and then you can see how we structure this. So inside of our media folder, main media folder, then we have covers, I have that. Inside we have instance title. So I have created a movie title lot so basically that instant title becomes a folder name and inside here I'm expecting to have actually a file uh, and I think uh, I have two files here because I commit the same uh, file twice but basically and and then Django trying to take care of uh, the duplicates and create a, like a random string here but normally you will have only one so the folder structure is like this slash which is the the core this one media root which is I made a mistake here and then we have covers this is what is here instance title so name of the book and then a file name so what I did is I upload the file name lot uh, jpeg and this is actually save it like this in my folder structure so you can see here the name is the same because I used as a, a last argument file name so as you can see here you have a full control where you would like to put it you don't have to use this covers you can do it like this or you can just put it straight uh, as a file name and that will just go into the media folders here without covers without name and without uh, just with a, a file name that you upload it so it's up to you how you would like to uh, specify it but you, as you can see here you have a full control where it's gonna be and how it's gonna uh, work so I will show you one more thing that is uh, still not working so if we go to our admin and if you would like to access our cover so I will click this and you can see this file is not available so page not found so why is that happening because the Django by default it's not serving a static files so what we need to do is we need to tell Django to include the static files we can do it going to the settings uh, sorry we can go to the URLs and we can include static uh, URLs here so we need to import from Django config URL static import static 
and also we'll import from Django config import settings. So basically what we will do here is we have our URLs, but on top of that URLs, what we can do is we can add a static to that URL, uh, to that URL patterns. So we will add it like that. We'll use settings. Media URL and then document root settings media root. So basically what we are doing here is we include the statics file from the media URL. This is what we set up in the settings here, media URL, and also we uh, added document root as a media root. So basically we're telling, okay, serve it as a static. So add statics to our pattern. So if we'll have that in the settings now, uh, what I can do here is I can refresh it and you can see this is the file that I uploaded. So basically the file here will be available on this address. So it is media, that's what I specify as a media URL. Then we have our folder structure. So covers, lot, and then name of the file here. So that's basically it. Uh, it is very straightforward option. We haven't used any third party uh, library. You can, uh, for uploading uh, files with Angular, you can have a millions of different uh, libraries that will help you out tracking the progress and everything. But this is a kind of native uh, version, how to do it with uh, uh, Angular. And you can see you have a full control over how to do it. Most of the tutorials, they kind of recommend it to have a separate endpoint for a sa saving the files and a separate for the uh, other data. As you can see here, it's very convenient to have it everything in one go and you have a full control what to, you would like to include where. So basically, we just have a form data here and we, apart from uh, the normal uh, fields that are required for for that model we also have the files so it's up to you how we're going to design it but splitting that in a separate things will give you a full control how to do it i hope you uh, enjoyed this video if you would like to be updated with a newest video please do subscribe and if you like it you know what to do thank you